get the perfect neurochemical cocktail to decrease your anxiety and increase focus. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, cognitive neuroscientist. I am here today to tell you exactly how to do that. We're gonna talk about how to get your brain's energy in flow state where everything feels good and everything comes more easily. Doesn't that sound great? Sounds good to me. Okay, so number one, we're gonna talk about what is this perfect neurochemical cocktail? Number two, we're gonna talk about opposed to what else? And number three, we are going to discuss your brain tip strategy for today, how to get this perfect neurochemical cocktail. So stay with me until the end. If you're getting value from these videos, please like and subscribe because I'm gonna be bringing you great content each week. Okay, so let's dig in. Number one, perfect neurochemical cocktail. What I'm talking about is one, dopamine, two, serotonin, and three, oxytocin. So there's actually more neurochemicals, but these are the three primary chemicals or neurotransmitters in your brain that when they combine, they make it so that not only are you getting pleasure out of your life, you're also getting joy and happiness and connection. So dopamine is the pleasure seeking neurochemical. So it will give you pleasure, but if you get it in high levels, and especially if you put yourself in a position where you're always trying to get more and more of it, you will be caught in the pleasure seeking trap, which inevitably leads to pain. Pleasure and pain are processed in the same area of the brain and the brain can't differentiate it sometimes. So when you go for more and more pleasure, it ends up in a dopamine deficit in your life, which creates more stress, more anxiety, more pain. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So dopamine is, is the pleasure-seeking neurochemical. So what that means is when we achieve it in lower levels by doing things that are pleasurable to us and for ourselves in our life, it can make us feel good. Now, when we combine that with serotonin, the neurochemical for happiness and joy, it can kind of hit that sweet spot. And then of course, when we go out of our way to be with other people and establish intimate relationships and love other people and receive love from those people, what happens is we get the neurochemical cocktail. Now this is the way that it works. Dopamine hits harder and it stays around for a shorter amount of time. So that's why it'll give you a spike of feeling good. Opposed to serotonin can be longer to kind of come about and to be released into the system and to feel the effects at lower levels, but it lingers around longer. So when you put yourself in a position to do serotonin producing activities, you actually can feel better about your life across your life because you feel happier, you feel content, you feel joy. Joy is a lower level feeling or state opposed to pleasure and feeling that high. And I remember, I live in North Carolina. I remember when I moved here, everything was amazing. I set my passwords. If you try to hack anything, it won't work anymore. But all my passwords were amazing and had something to do with amazing because I was amazed. I felt this rose-colored glasses high of moving out of Buffalo, New York, where it was freezing cold and snowy, to moving to Chapel Hill, where I met people that I felt good with, the weather's always good. So that kind of hit my system hard. And I remember telling everybody, this is amazing. And people are like, is it really amazing? And I'm like, yes, it's really amazing. But now I've been here for 10 years and the amazement is gone. But Thankfully, what's lingered is that feeling of happiness and joy and the day-to-day -day feeling good in the life that I've created and built. That's what I'm talking about. And then especially when you couple it with other people, you get that perfect neurochemical cocktail. Let's move on to number two, opposed to what? All right, so the opposed to what is easy. That spike of cortisol that you feel when you feel stressed out. 
Cortisol is the stress hormone or the stress neurotransmitter. So if you have chronic stress, it can be very dangerous because it means that that neurotransmitters lingering around in your system for too long. And then especially if you experience something very stressful, you'll get this big spike of cortisol and it'll take some time to wear off. It impacts your sleep because melatonin is the hormone for sleep. There's lower levels of melatonin when there's higher levels of cortisol. It's harder for your brain to get dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin when it has so much cortisol in the system. Now, let me kind of uh, talk about this in terms of what's happening in the brain's electrical energy. So when the brain is using that extra fast speed high beta, that is the speed of anxiety or stress, and it produces more cortisol in the cascade of neurotransmitters. At the same time, it creates fatigue. So when you have high beta, your brain is wired but then unfortunately it tires your brain and it makes it so that you feel fatigued, you feel overwhelmed, there's lack of motivation, your brain is running too fast and too slow simultaneously. If you experience trauma, that can lower power in the brain, which makes it difficult for you to feel good. But when you bring your brain out of that mode and you bring your brain into the medium speed, you can hit flow state. Flow state was studied and is acclaimed by researcher Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, whom I adore, by the way. So what he found is that you can create a life that even brushing your teeth feels good to you and taking a shower, cooking breakfast for your kids, getting yourself ready, especially doing your work, and especially if it's work that you love and puts you on purpose, your brain gets into this medium state of alpha and low beta where it hits the perfect speed in electrical energy and it creates the neurochemical cocktail that makes your brain feel pleasure from doing your work, happiness and connected. That's what I am talking about. So number three, your brain tip strategy for today. How do you achieve that? The way to achieve it is in fact to decrease your stressors figure out what they are. My husband and I call them tolerances. We try to have as few tolerances as possible because the more tolerances you have, the more intolerable your life is. So figure out what you're tolerating and find a way to eliminate them or reduce them. And you might have to think out of the box, do some out of the box thinking to put solutions into place. And I know it's difficult because when you're stuck in high beta, high beta is problem seeking mode, not problem solving. So create a little time and space for yourself to get into this medium speed so that you can solve the problems, solve the tolerations and create more space for that medium speed. If you're being dominated by these speeds and the extremes, it's impossible for medium speed to shine through. So you have to bring these down, bring the stressors down, get enough sleep, figure out if there's traumas or dysfunctions from the past, do a little historical dig five years by five years, figure out what's lingering around in your nervous system. If you can't figure it out by yourself, get a coach to help you. That's what me and my team do. We help you figure out what's lingering around in your nervous system and creating neuro rigidity. Then we help you through action steps to create neuroplasticity so that you can move forward and get this neurochemical cocktail going in the right direction. So at the same time, when you figure out the stressors, you're reducing them, then figure out what makes you feel good. And remember, seek out dopamine in the world for pleasure, things that make you feel good in the moment, and they kind of hit that sweet spot of dopamine hits in the world. But at the same time, make sure you have some serotonin producing activities like a sunset, like sitting on your back porch with some iced tea for a half hour doing nothing, just chilling with your people, chilling with a book, bring the energy down and do something that's slower and longer lasting that makes you feel the joy in your world. Go for a walk, unplug, no podcast, no music, listen to the birds. Go for a hike. Nature's beautiful for bringing your brain into this middle speed. Do something though that's longer lasting. 
dopamine for pleasure, serotonin for joy, and do those with those things with people you love for oxytocin, neurochemical cocktail. That is what you deserve. Everybody deserves that and everybody can have it, but it does take some creation. You have to come out of survival mode, get into thrive mode, and create the life that you want. And I know you can do it. Okay, if you're looking for help on that journey, please go to drtrishley.com. I'd love to help. And in the meantime, control your brain or it'll control you.